Hi everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Today we're going to be taking on a gym leader, but before we do that, I wanted to say that off camera I trained up on the route that my character is currently looking at, and we also got the Squirtle off camera because I decided I was going to collect a whole bunch more Pokemon. I'll just show you in my Pokemon bag, Pokemon box, whatever you want to call it. I have chucked a Squirtle at the very bottom of it, being crushed by another 62 Pokemon, so it's the 63rd one that it's being crushed by. I'm going to leave it in there for the time being because I do have some Pokemon I do want to level up, etc. At the moment, I want to level up and evolve my Abra. Same with Meowth. Weeping Bell is a powerful Pokemon and I don't want to get rid of it. And Charma well, Charmander evolved into Charmeleon, so I've got Charmeleon and Bulbasaur here so far. So I think I'm pretty much good so far. And before we actually get started on today's episode, I wanted to ask you, are you or your family doing anything to do with Christmas at the moment? Have you been setting up? I'm asking because a few of my friends have been recently, and a lot of people have been getting quite involved with celebrations and all that regarding Thanksgiving, and also in the lead up to December, and then moving into Christmas, so now is the time to talk about that, so head into the comments right now and just let me know, what, what have you guys been doing, and feel free to chat with anyone else. I haven't really been doing too much, but we have had a couple birthdays here, my mum's 50th and my younger sister's 12th birthday, so it's been kind of insane here, and probably within like the next week or so, we're going to end up starting to prepare for Christmas, so big time of the year. Now today, we're going to go and chop down this tree with our magical choppy powers. Yeah, that worked. And head into the gym. Oh, yeah, it's this one with the big trash cans of doom. I don't like this. I don't like this gym. It's it's annoying. I forget the puzzle. So I'm going to have to try and figure it out as time goes on in the gym. I've been waiting for you, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge is the gym leader in this city. He's an expert on electric-type Pokemon and a real tough guy. Flying and water-type Pokemon do not do well against his Pokemon. So we've got to be careful. Also got to watch out so Pokemon don't get stuck paralyzed because that happens a lot. Here, my large... Big fat, fat tippy thingo. He's a cautious type. He puts barriers between himself and the rest of this room, so it won't be easy to get to him. I can see that. There's this big, scary-looking force field in the back, and I don't want to have anything to do with that. Shall we check the red bin first? Because that looks kind of magical. It's a red trash can. Oh my god! Observation levels at its finest. That's literally it. We have nothing better to say than it's a red trash can. And let me guess, this one is going to be it's a blue trash can. Charmeleon, are you okay? It doesn't look okay. Oh, there's only trash here. I, I know. I, I know. There, there are trash cans all over the place. Do I really need to fight these people? I don't want to fight those people. Is it really necessary? I mean, it probably is, honestly. We can get more XP that way. Who should we train up first? Abra, probably. Let's do that. Let's fight the sailor. Really? Come on. Yeah, I, I know. I was about to come over and talk to you. This is no place for kids, not even if you're good at Pokemon. Excuse me, princess. I came into this gym to challenge the gym leader, and the guy at the front said that I can, but only if I manage to make it past the force field of death. So, I'm making it to the end. I don't care what you say. I also changed out my sailor outfit, so I'm wearing the normal trainer outfit. I don't really know why I felt I need to say that. I think that I just got reminded by the sailor that we're fighting at the moment. That's fine. We've learnt a few more extra moves, which is always good. Even though it's takedown, and that's not going to be very useful against a Magnemite, but... Just saying, we know it. No, not Confusion. Confusion's annoying! Okay, we're just going to kick this damn thing. Just kick it. Kick it, just kick it, don't get confused! There we go, nice. Oh wow, uh, damn it. Just a critical hit. I thought that that was actually how much damage it was supposed to be doing. I'm not going to be happy if I get paralyzed and confused at the same time. Hey, I, you know, I could be using my um, my other Joy-Con for this as well, I think. I feel like I could be. Maybe we'll try that in the gym fight, actually. I'm going to see if I'm able to do that. Because if I can cheat the gym fight in any way whatsoever, I will, I will happily take that opportunity. Because the gym fights have been very difficult up to this point, and I don't know if they're going to get easier or if they're going to get more difficult. I'm not too sure exactly. At long last, Abra is evolving. I thought it was going to evolve because it hit level 16. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Evolve, little thingy. Watching intensely. There we go, cool. It's a good Abra, and it can actually use normal moves and not just teleport away. Congratulations, your Abra evolved into Kadabra. And learn confusion, please. Please. Please, please, please learn confusion. 
Many odd things happen if this Pokemon is close by. For example, it makes clocks run backward. It's that powerful? Please. Confusion. Kinesis. Okay, that, that's close. Psybeam. Oh, okay, so it's got a couple different moves it's going to be learning, because it's a cool and hip new Pokemon game. Alright, you, I want to fight you. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym, so I can yell at people with a megaphone until they drop down to their knees. You're challenged by Rocket Bailey. Okay, that's a sick goatee. I don't think the navy colored goatee is very natural, though. Doesn't look very natural. Alright, Kadabra, here we go. We're going to do this. You can fight the Voltorb that's six levels higher than you. Just use Psybeam. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. See? There's like practically no damage anyway. It's okay. See, we do so much more damage. Six level def six level difference. Like, that's, that's insane. Ow. Haven't even dropped me to half health. Nearly. I just wanted the critical. Just wanted the critical. Then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Hey wait, maybe the um, the two-player thing only appears in normal trainer fights and we can't take the two Joy-Con power into a gym fight because that would be cheating. I think it would be. Who else gets XP for that? Alright, oh, extra pick one. Um, let's switch. So this is all about. Let's send in uh, Meowth. Because I don't think I have used Fake Out once. Through my entire time owning a Meowth in this game, I don't think I've used Fake Out once, and that's not good. Fake Out is a good move, and it's very annoying, but only when you're using it against someone else. I kind of like that you can see all the trash cans along the side of the battlefield. That's kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> Flinchton couldn't move. Nice. And now we're going to spam Bite. Oh, wait. This thing's going to be way faster than us, because Voltorb is an insanely fast Pokemon. It's one of those Pokemon that you don't think is going to be insanely fast, but it is in fact insanely fast. Fine, we'll just send it. No, 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 Bulbasaur, no, get out of there, no. Actually, why not Weeping Bell? Why not Weeping Bell? If it uses anything electric on me, I'm like, I'm going to resist the hell out of it. So, we'll do that. I can see the pixels on Voltorb's eyes for a second there. Now that shows how high definition this Pokemon game really is. Yeah, see Thundershock. And we resist it because we're a leafy little pair that doesn't care anything about shocking moves. It's too fast. No! We beat that thing with our little vine whip. Ouch. Okay, one more hit. And you're gone. The trainers don't have any Pokemon in this game. And I'm kind of glad about that. Because if they had lots of Pokemon, I would have to constantly go back and forth between the gym and the Pokemon Center and then the gym again and the Pokemon Center constantly before I get to Lieutenant Surge at long last. Alright, here we go. Find this old man slash gentleman slash fine and splendid sir. Gentleman Tucker. What is a little mustache? Yes. Presents it a Pikachu. How fine and splendid. What are you going to do? Going to use Thunderbolt? Probably. No, I'll send him Weeping Bell again. We send him Weeping Bell and then we just spam Vine Whip until we win. Oh! Oh, we're using Quick Attack because you know that my Kadabra's on low health. I see what you're doing. No! <laughs> no. No. Bad. Bad Pikachu! You've been a bad little mousy boy. So get out of my sight. There we are. Extra levels too, which is always good. Cool. Stop! Don't approach me anymore! Okay, how do we, how do we, how do we actually get through this? Because I know they had to do something with these little trash cans. And I think that you have to try and find a lever within them. Yeah. Let's push it. Okay. And then it activates one of them. And then you got to find the other one. Um, but I don't remember how to do that. And I think it deactivates if you get the wrong one. Yeah. And then it kind of randomizes it. And I remember trying to do this at one point in Leaf Green. And I got really confused by it. And I went, Ugh, I don't know how to do this. And just... 
cut out everything I was trying to figure out. Oh, never mind, I got it. Okay, hopefully I can just leave the gym and come back because I want to... I need to heal my Pokemon. Electric barriers are gone now, cool, he's deactivated, let's go. Ha ha, the barriers are still gone, which means I can approach. Why have you got so many random oil barrel thingos around you? So you confuse me, but you have cool boots, so it makes up for it. Let's go into our Parsi. Switch around our Pokemon a bit because I don't want to be sending Kadabra first. We're going to send in... Oh, who should we send in first? Uh, hey, sending me out first if we can get that sweet fake out first up. Are we ready to fight the spiky-haired Lieutenant Surge? Ten Hut! Welcome to the Vermilion City Gym! Will you look at that? A pint-sized challenger! Ha ha ha! You've got big and brassy nerves to take on me with your puny power! A Pokemon battle is war! I'll show you, civilian! I'll shock you into surrender! I don't know why I imagined his voice like that, but it sounded cool, and I had fun doing it, so I'm doing it! You are challenged by gym leader, Lieutenant Surge! Uh, he does his cool little pose, he sends in his little sentient Pokeball and goes, Kill him! And we send him Meowth, and Meowth goes, I'm gonna clap you with my paws. Eight levels higher. No problem. No problem. Okay, now we need to get the hell out. Otherwise, we are gonzies. I don't know what it's gonna do. But whatever it's gonna do, I need something to resist it. So we send a weeping bell. Yeah, Thunderbolt. Oh, ouch. That would probably take it out my mouth one shot. Now, what does more damage? Acid or Vine Whip? I think we've already covered this. 40 and 45. Yeah, we have literally already covered this. And it's using Light Screen, so Vine Whip is going to be a lot more effective. Yeah, special moves. Yeah, Whip. Yeah, that's not going to affect my whipping at all. The only thing that makes this fight a bit more annoying is the fact that the Volt Orbs are insanely fast. So they can get in attacks before I can. That's irritating. Easy. First Pokemon down. The only thing is I only have two Pokemon that I think are above level 20 though. I do want to keep on leveling up my Pokemon. And I'm probably going to have to do that a bit off camera as well. Otherwise, we're going to have really awkward Pokemon levels. Like 15, 17, 16, 18, and then just two 24s. Okay, go Eevee. I'll make Eevee kick the Magnemite out of the sky. Come on. We're ready to kick this guy. Ready to die. Hope you one shot. Oh, 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 not going to happen. Okay, two hits and it'll be gone. Not like two kicks, but like two hits of the move. You know what I mean. Yeah, this guy's so much easier than I thought he was going to be. Maybe it's because in the first two gym fights, they completely annihilated me. And so I expected the worst in this one, meaning that I was like, okay, I need to train up for this. And I did. And because I trained up, we were ready for the fight. Sending Raichu. Oh! Nice. Very nice. Okay, we'll go. We're gonna go. Oh, should we go, off, go with a double kick? Or a takedown? I don't know. That's 90. That's gonna do 60 because it hits twice. 60 because it hits, yeah, it hits once. Let's do takedown. It might miss though. I don't know though. It's probably gonna end up one shotting me anyway, so I don't know. Oh, never mind. Didn't. I'll try another quick attack after this if I don't end up. Whoa! Jeez! Um, quick attack. Don't heal, please. No, it does quick attack too. Oh, hell yeah. Eevee, you legend. I know, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. One health, it uses quick attack because it can move faster than my Eevee using quick attack. Eevee toughs it out, takes zero damage from it. Oh my god. Now that's a shocker! And apparently with the real deal. Oh, we're so the real deal. That was... That was amazing. I love RNG in Pokemon games. It's super effective! But he doesn't even care. Fine, take take fun back, fun back, you keep it. I don't, I don't need it on me. I've got too many in my pockets. Nice! Cute little high five and a thunder badge. And that's not all! We get the thunder- Oh, we, I want- I don't want his autograph. I want the Thunderbolt TM so I can train my Kadabra to use it. Why is he giving me his autograph? 
Come on. There we go. I was about to say, cough it up. Come on. TM is ours. I know. I know what Thunderbolt does. I know exactly what Thunderbolt does. And I want... Okay. Shake, 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 shake controller. There we go. What does Eevee want to do? Eevee is about to drop down dead in our arms. No, that's very morbid. It's just about to fade. It needs to sleep. Secret techniques. Eevee has a secret technique you can use chop down. Seems that can't be used here. Yeah, well, duh. I just wanted to see what the screen was. Like a cute little Eevee. Okay. Yay, scratchy eyeballs. No, okay, fine. Sometimes you just don't like having your eyeballs scratched, and sometimes you do. It's kind of confusing. There you go. Stay happy. See, look, I'm doing the exact same thing, and then eventually it's just going to get upset and be like, No, I don't want that. You bad, you bully, you mean. Okay, let's give it a berry. Yeah, I know. Get, get it. Get me. We, 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 I'll give you one of these because I only have one bootleg pineapple and nine bootleg pink bananas. There you go. You have a berry. Happy now? Cool. Good. Wonderful. All right, Evie, let's, let's go down and do something else. Something a bit more interesting. Okay, let's talk to this guy at the front as to how insanely rigged that fight was. Whew! That match was electric. I'm so, I was so, well, we were so blinding. I'm still seeing stars. These guys have such short and generic messages. It annoys me sl just slightly. It also annoys me just slightly that these trees come back every single time. Like, why can't it just go away? I've chopped it down so many times. Trees don't grow that fast. Imagine that at any time. Oh, Misty. Hi. Why are you here? Oh, wow. So you beat Lieutenant Surge? You must be pretty good. Yeah, I must be great. It's not RNG or anything on my side. Glad to see you're really learning a thing or two, and your Pokemon must have tried their best. Hell yeah, they did. Misty heals our Pokemon and then goes, okay, cool. Now, oh, me? I'm going swimming in the sea. There are times when you just want to break free from the puny little pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Diglett's Cave? It's pretty close by. If you haven't been, I can show you the way. Want a guide? Of course. And then it's going to be like, duh, duh, duh. No, I don't know what's going to do. It, it often does a little, like, tutorial music. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was going to do the cute little tutorial music. This is Diglett's Cave, and in the Diglett's Cave, there are lots of Diglets. And a couple Doug Shred. A few of each. Well, maybe we should head in here. Should we head in here or head out there? Um, let's just ignore this person. I'm just going to walk around on this route a bit just to see what's down this way. Because there are Pokemon that we have not yet caught. But that is not the objective of the playthrough. The objective of the playthrough is to just play through. And it doesn't mean I have to catch absolutely everything. But you know what it does mean? It means I want to get every single one of the Pokeballs that I see. We found a lure. I've been told by one of my friends that I should try using some of the lures to like... Collect, to like, do shiny hunting and all that. Because he's been shiny hunting a lot. And the lures, I think they last for like a certain amount of time or a certain number of steps or something. And apparently, after like 30-something encounters, shiny Pokemon appear a lot more frequently. So, that could be a good idea. We could try that out a bit. Okay, maybe I'll get this Pokeball. Yeah, I've done this in a really weird order because I walked around and went, I want to collect a whole bunch of Pokeballs. Also, I haven't used a single Pokeball that isn't just like a normal Pokeball. And that sounds really stupid when I say it out loud. What I really meant to say is that I have never used a Great Ball or a Premier Ball. I've only used the regular default Pokeballs. And I probably should change them at some point so I can... So I can try out the other ones. I think that the normal Pokeballs are just too easy to use. Don't you turn that net. I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. You're too predictable a mechanic. There are a couple of new Pokemon on this route as well. So I might want to come back here and catch some of the Pokemon. But in the meantime, I want a Diglett. Badly. Well, not badly. I just want a Diglett. Oh, hello. Well, me, did you know this huge long tunnel, it was dug entirely by Diglets? Because I totally wasn't told that, like, two minutes ago. Oh, thank God, a tunnel that I can walk through where I'm not going to be, ra like, randomly encountering Pokemon all the time. I can just walk through peacefully, and if I want to encounter a Diglett, I will walk into one. And if I don't want to encounter one, then I won't. Actually, because this entire tunnel is comprised only of Diglett, that means that if I wanted to get a shiny Diglett, I could just stay in here for ages and eventually it would show up because that's like how it works, I think. So when you catch chains of Pokemon, like the same Pokemon over and over again, I think it increases the chance or something. I think that's how it works. Another old guy. That means I can do my old man voice. I've heard that there's a tunnel even darker inside than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. I feel like I know what he's talking about at the same time. I'm not entirely sure. Where have we ended up? 
I forget where this takes me. Oh, right. All the way back to Route 2. Hello, random person. Josh, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. No, I don't remember you. But do you have anything cool for me? Yeah, let's go in the house. Let's go in the house. Let's go in the house. You didn't mean to announce that you could have just waited in the house. I would have come to say hi. Because I am a social trainer. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -bum. So you came. Right, let's get down to the brass tacks. What does that even mean? The deets? The business? I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique light up. Is that basically flash? There. Now you can't see anything. Now, if you calm your heart and close your eyes and then open your third eye and then embrace the power of the universe, you can see the world around you and breathe deeply. You'll be able to sense your surroundings no matter how dark it is. This is basically just training me to get psychic powers. My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see. Okay, that's kind of cool. V was, if he wants to learn it too. Whoa, the plot says that the Pokemon that we are training has to learn everything. Okay. Well, I guess the Eevee is special and it will learn everything instead. Here, let me turn the lights off again. Boy, it's daytime. There is no way that it would become this dark. But we are telling our Eevee to calm its heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. And just like that, Eevee learned the secret technique light up. That's kind of cool. So we can take it into a really dark cave and then boom, Eevee will be basically a psychic type. It's basically like not Espeon. It's Espeon, but not Espeon. Okay, well, that was kind of cool. We now know light up. That was pretty awesome. I'm not even going to bother with this tree down here because it's going to. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes, I did. Hi, Luigi. I know how to light up the, the world around me. I know. If he's so cool. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. I'm going to take you there. Uh, yeah. Let's go together. All right, we'll be there in no time. Come on, it's a date. And just like that, Mario, the Smash Bro, and this random Luigi dude decide we're gonna head all the way this way. So just head east here from Cerulean City. That's this direction, got it? I know, I know. There's a rock tunnel here. It's pitch dark, if you use light up, then you'll be able to see everything in there. And the date is over, just like that. How did he go that way? Does he know the choppy move? I don't know, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what's this, what's, what's this way. I want to see. I am curious. Pokemon world is so big. Ah, there are so many trainers. Dang, we can't skip past her. I wanted to though. You walk too slowly. You have Pokemon with you. You're my easy target. Okay, let's just beat her and then be done with it. I got a feeling there are going to be a lot of trainers on this route. What? Bulbasaur is evolving! Bulbasaur has reached level 16. I don't really feel an inclination to want to show off many of the fights, but showing off the evolutions is really cool because I love watching them. They just sort of ascend and then they just pop out like a cool little, little new, new Pokemon, obviously. It evolves and there you go. Bulbasaur into Ivysaur. Cool, yep, the bottom the back of its back grows a whole bunch and then it blooms into a cute little flower thing, or a big flower thing. It does become pretty big as it becomes a Venusaur. Are there any other trainers that we absolutely have to fight on this route? Probably not, so I'm just gonna head up this way, walk along the main path, and just completely avoid the fighting dude. Nope, 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 nope. Not having anything to do with any of you guys. I'm okay, I'm good. Route 10, don't need to have anything to do with you guys either. Yes, that is a Fero, and Fero is a very cool Pokemon. But I know that I'm able to go and catch any Pokemon at any time whenever I choose to do so. I don't absolutely have to do things right away. Oh, hell yeah. Team Rocket and a Pokemon Center. Right next to each other. W w hey! You're the kid that's been getting in our way all the time. How did you know that? Uh-oh. Oh, God, they brought a whole team. Oh, wow, they really did bring a whole team. This is not very legal. They brought, like, four random adults to take on this 10-year-old. It's because of you that Team Rocket's reputation was totally smashed. And now we're going to... Boom! Beat you all into the dirt. We'll never be able to face the boss at this rate. Which means we'll have to take our revenge on you. Oh, that's not good. What, like all four? Don't you worry. Oh, who are you? An admin? Oh, very cool. Do I know you? Gang up on a child? I absolutely can't forgive that. Yeah, I know, right? Like, how dare they? 
Who are you, lady? We'll gang up and gang up and take on you too. I'll handle these three. Okay, cool. Wonderful. To the Pokemon Center we go. Yeah, I'll take on this random one. I don't know. Leave it to me. I got you. Good answer. Now then, let's go. She's standing there acting very serious. There we go. We done. We're ready to go. It has one Pokemon. It's better to Zubat. Oh, it's Raticate. Okay, nice. Bit of an interesting mix up there. I'll take it. I really hope my Meowth is going to evolve into a Persian sometime soon. I can't remember the level at which it evolves, but I will figure it out at some point, and then we will have a Persian. And I think that you're actually able to ride on Persian when Meowth evolves, so I'm keen for that. Yeah, I keep, wanting, I keep wanting to send in my other Pokemon, except Eevee is a high level and it also knows a fighting type move, so against all the normal types it goes really well. It's annoying. I want to level up the others, but it's probably not happening. Double kick should be a fairly easy kill, maybe in two hits? Yeah, just two hits. Ow, what? No. Bad. Bad, Raticate. We are finished here. Ow, do we get to find out any more information regarding this random lady who just kind of showed up on a Lapras? Because I want to know. I think we all did. Fury swipes, that's kind of a weak move, but if I have any weaker moves, then sure. Uh, no, we don't. Actually, taunt. Yeah, taunt's a completely useless move for me. I don't often use, like, status infliction moves, but I do often use stat increasing moves. Those are helpful. Ones that increase your defense significantly, your attack significantly, your speed. What if the boss is about this? Yeah, he probably will, and Team Rocket will be soiled forever. Okay. Who is this? Jeez, kid, just how strong are you? Why are we talking about me when there's this lady who's just taking on the three of them? Is she done yet, or is she, she not started yet? Even three of us rushing you wasn't enough. Yep, okay. This incredibly powerful ice-type Pokemon. Who are you? Oh, right. Lorelei, or Lorelei, or whatever you want to call it. I am Lorelei of the Pokemon's League, Pokemon League's Elite Four. I shall freeze you all solid, too. Oh. Oh, she's asking if they shall all be frozen solid. Elite Four, we surrender! Okay, bye! I mean, I'm a pretty talented trainer, clearly. I used a couple moves and took on one single rat, and boom! Immediately we get praised for it. I see you're so, so you're collecting gym badges. Yep, there we are. Lots of gym badges. And we will come for the Pokemon League, and then boom, we'll be the champion someday. I don't know when. We'll get to it at some stage. Let's go into the Pokemon Center and heal up real quick. Okay, so... To my knowledge, if we head over into this rock tunnel, it will take us pretty much to Lavender Town, I think. I think that's how it goes. Well, it takes us to the other end of the rock tunnel, which basically ends up taking us to Lavender Town. Do you have anything for me, or are you just going to fight me? No, not now. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're going to go into this rock tunnel. We're going to leave that for next time, because we've been playing for a little while, and sometimes I plan to just play and beat a gym leader, and then go, okay, well take on the next area next time and then try to split them into more episodes but I invariably end up playing for way too long, much longer than I expected to be playing for and so we have made it all the way to here which is good, we have made lots and lots of progress so we're going to end the episode off here so thank you all so much for joining me on this episode of Pokemon Let's Go! Eevee, you know where we're heading next time into that rock tunnel right there that we're looking at heading all the way to the other end of the rock tunnel into Lavender Town so to see all of you in the next video, goodbye!